Hi, friends. Thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film Maxine. Maxine's a part of the X trilogy. The first film, X, uh, basically paid homage to the slasher films that had a little bit of a twist and it elevated it a little bit. It just felt fresh. And then came Pearl, which, again, Ty West paid homage to the classic cinema, but in a demented way. So we actually felt empathy for a psychopath, which was pretty remarkable. And it solidified how Mia Goth in both films, uh, it, it, it's just an incredible actress. I mean, Pearl just sealed the deal. She's amazing. And so that's why Maxine fell at number two on my top 10 films that I was most excited for this summer. This time around, Maxine follows the sexploitation uh, crime thriller 80s film like where there's women are always being stalked and there was always that mystery element to it. So it didn't really have much of that horror aspect of it. Um, it just dealt with that grungy, you know, grindhouse type of feel, which was awesome. I mean, it set you back in the 80s. You felt it. It felt like uh, very nostalgic and... You can tell that Ty West's love for that style of 80s movies um, really shined. You know, he really wanted to elevate it and, and create a, a bigger idea for what these films could be. So taking Maxine into the 80s the way he did uh, to incorporate all three movies was an accomplishment. And there are moments in this film that are just will stick with you it, it, one scene particularly I will never ever not think of uh, that scene when I'm thinking about Maxine and it will just kind of haunt me for the rest of my life let's be honest it'll just haunt me for the rest of my life um, with all that being said it just didn't connect with me and, I, and even sleeping on it and thinking about it it's just the third act just got messy for me and it just took me out of the film and I it, it, it he wanted to do so much and put all the elements in place and it just for me didn't work I think even leading up to it I was waiting for the movie to kick into high gear and it never did it was just almost meandering in a sense like my my commentaries do so it just meanders around and 80s we are rebelling against what you know punk music and rock music is bad and video games are bad and you know it's all Hollywood is sinful and you know he, he was really kind of doing almost a, a protest film in a sense so he had so many big ideas that it really kind of got lost in translation and then it just kind of muddled up and it honestly come down to this crime thriller mystery aspect in the third act I just didn't buy into it I, I don't know I think maybe it was supposed to be shocking or wow and it kind of pulled me out of it and I understand the idea of ambition and in without any giving away anything it, these, this ambition crosses the lines and I totally get it it, it just I don't know. And it was interesting because even the horror, the violence, and all the gore really comes from the hands of Maxine, which is really interesting. With everything that he was able to do and make it feel like the 80s and make it feel like a, you know, it's exploitation, crime thriller, mystery of the 80s, um, I think the transition just got lost. I'm a little disappointed because of the two top movies that I was so excited for this summer kind of disappointed me. Again, I'm glad I see it. I may give it a rewatch later when it comes in the streaming just to maybe do all three and feel, see how I feel at the end of that. But, man, I, 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 there's so much good coming out of this film that I wish it was better. Um, it just didn't move me. It does solidify the fact that Mia Goth is amazing and I love her and Hollywood needs to do more with her. She needs to get more roles because she can pretty much do anything in my opinion she's great um the supporting cast uh Giancarlo Espinito is awesome uh Kevin Bacon is 
clearly just having fun and you know but at the same time like Bobby Cavanaugh it, 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 these these characters are all felt almost wasted I mean Kevin Bacon is the one that really kind of is in the movie the majority of the time let's put it this way Ty West created a decent movie and a nostalgic film that we all can get behind um but from from my my own personal opinion, walking out of this was just uh, uh, just didn't feel didn't feel right. You know, it was interesting because when we went into the theater and everybody was dressed up like Pearl and you, you had that fun atmosphere, but by the end, everybody just kind of walked out with in silence. They didn't. I didn't, you know, usually when people get excited about a film, there's there's mumblings and talking and there's a little bit of excitement and they're even clapping. In this one, there wasn't anything. It was just dead silence, which was a weird experience, especially from the ones who dressed up and was highly anticipating this film, who obviously were really all in for this movie, so... Again, this is only my opinion on Maxine. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it or the X Trilogy in general. Um, do you think Ty Wesh needs to keep moving forward with these and like, go into the 90s? Or do you think this is pretty much it? It's done. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of hope Ty West moves on and does something different that's more original. He doesn't need to pay homage anymore. He's done with that continue uh, hiring Mia Goth because she's amazing and let's kind of go on from there I think Ty West has a lot to say a lot the a lot of new ideas that could come out of this and please keep hiring Mia Goth <laughs> all right guys until next time like subscribe do all those things uh, please pass on if you any other movie lovers out there please uh, send my channel over to them and uh, continue this film journey with me thank you so much